happening and at this time we take a look at the business tip which tip do we have for you this early morning that will inspire you uh, to get more more out of your business today take a look at our business tip for the day and this one is a uh, uh, courtesy of mutambuka and uh, highlighting that don't overvalue special relationship with powerful people if your business is good for the country you will succeed respect the law and local uh, customs and don't get involved in family politics it may be beneficial to build relationships with influential people but you cannot best the success of your business in this mm. ah, this one uh, it is like a very, very hard one they are speaking to someone they are speaking to someone this morning mm -hmm. don't overvalue special relationship mm -hmm. so special relationship was speaking about having your uncle is an mp mm -hmm. your uncle is a president your uncle is uh, so you see or somewhere is, uh, mm -hmm. or perhaps your mother you not just your uncle your father mm -hmm. or even your brother your sister so that value um, identity that you have got with that particular um, uncle Doram mm -hmm. you should not put it in a perspective that hey Doram is my success now I have got uh, uncle mm -hmm. Jeremy has money has got you know is very well established uh, he has the company I'm working in it and then you tend to uh, forget that it's not yours mm. I think am I being harsh mm. no no that <laughs> no it's actually reality the, the quote, actually reality the quote was like uh, was like uh, harsh somehow mm. but I it's a reality actually, it's and they say that the truth hurts mm. because I've actually also uh, been able to, to realize <laughs> this that people uh, and uh, that is why sometimes I feel mm -hmm. everyone needs to push for themselves mm. uh, the, li the life we live in is quite uh, different it's just like people normally give examples of fingers these fingers will never be the same uh, never, never definitely. Be. So if I told you have a brother who is re more richer or more wealthy in the family, it does not mean you will be as wealthy as him. Or maybe you may be more you wealthy. You can't be even more if more, you work hard, exactly. if you do not look or at them. at the end of the day, you may not make it like he has made it. So mm -hmm. it is not always, uh, maybe like you even gave a, a clear example, if mm -hmm. your father or your mother or let's say your uncle is the president, it doesn't mean that it's going to come so easy for you <laughs> simply because he's actually uh, the president who is actually uh, governing the country so that means but maybe uh, yeah. maybe uh, we have got uh, for a big a greatest example is uh, you know there are stories i don't know if you have landed on one uh, barack obama's brother in kenya uh, mm -hmm. remained actually in kenya and uh, barack was a president of the united states mm -hmm. but uh, this particular individual another obama is living you know uh, i can say a moderate life a poor mm. life let me not just say moderate is mm. living uh, you know in that is uh, not even a middle income so he was telling his story mm. and uh, one of the things that he highlighted actually was about what we're even talking about mm. that you know it doesn't mean that if he's president that we're going to um, be well off we're going to just you know mm. but that again reflects on maybe the relationship you have had earlier on Durham with that particular mm. person mm. I mean if I become president, I may not forget you. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not forgetting you. I cannot forget you if I become president. Oh. So at some point, it depends on the relationship. <laughs> uh, by the way, some, <laughs> why oh, are you yeah, laughing about most cases, it? By the way, relationships also create room for mm. for success. Mm. In, uh, in more so even in this generation, because the generation turns out to be if your connections or your network is going to determine your net worth at the end of the day mm. if you're associating with the rightful people who also show in you the right rightful way. manner exactly. in the rightful manner because there is a misbehavior there is a misbehavior you tend you know mm. to bring out just because you know or oh, your uncle owns mm. it or your father or your sister your mother then is in the system there and you tend to is it okay directly familiarity mm. disrespect exactly. And then you're bringing it around that environment. Remember, yes, Sonko, you, uh, I won't use that husband mm. word. Mm. You are uh, definitely there for me. And remember, I have got mm. a circle of people around me. I've got a circle of people that I ha look up to me. For mm. example, if I'm a president of a certain company, I've got employees that I look up to. Mm. And then 
at some point you realize that people bring family matters in business. That is why this business tip is coming, not overvaluing special relationship. Because mm -hmm. uh, a CEO is, is in a certain meeting and because he's my brother, we're working together, I tend to feel, you know, this can't wait. Mm -hmm. I am banging the door, I'm banging his office, I need to enter. That I mean, Sonko is holding a meeting with clients and I'm not respecting that space. Mm -hmm. So what is going to happen to that service delivery at some point? So you realize you don't know at some point how and when to cross the limit or even not to cross the limit mm -hmm. where you're supposed to actually be limited at. So that is why they're telling you, always don't overvalue that relationship that you've got and in turn, if, anyways, like you were saying, some relationships give us success, mm -hmm. but it depends on how you're handling it. Exactly. It, depends. it does depend. Uh, so, but it's also very important to, uh, to keep uh, networking, social networking. However, don't overvalue, like they say, don't overvalue that relationship, thinking that it's only going to be the, uh, your relationship with that person that will see you succeed. Away from that business. But team. as we conclude mm -hmm. on this one, and mm -hmm. as I conclude on this one, we're not saying uh, family business is bad because mm. we have seen family members helping a lot on each other and that one comes according to how you treat each other in the family. But again, it is proved also that family is one uh, of the uh, sources of income or capital mm. if you're going to start a business. True. So you could reach out to your mother, parent, sister, brother, but in that business responsible profession manner, do not just go because it's your relative because things might not work out if you just take that approach hmm, exactly and uh, away from that let's now take a look at the business court and see which other way can we inspire you this morning and uh, this particular one is coming in from Roy Ash who says an entrepreneur tends to bite off a little more than he can chew hoping he will quickly learn how to chew it <laughs> So there is chewing there and then biting, of course biting is uh, that little chew related, but mm. there is an, an entrepreneur tending to bite off a little more, meaning that if you tend to exhaust what you have worked for there, mm. hoping that you're going to replace it, uh, mm. it may not come that easily or that quickly as mm. you are reflecting it. I'll give a scenario of uh, myself. Mm. Um, now let us let us begin from that service point of view. Mm. When I was little, you know, you're given school fees to go and, uh, you know, bank. And you feel like, I'm going to replace it. Mm. I'll replace it. So you tend to remove it. You remove a portion. But I tell you, and everyone has said this that I have interacted with. I don't know if uh, it mm. has happened to you. The cha the most challenging part is when you uh, autonomous fees, when mm. you By remove way, a portion see, on, see, see fees is okay. on school fees. Most of when you've prepared money for something, and you know it tends not so to come it back. It tends not to come back <laughs> because <laughs> now olinganga atode kumokeso gogo nini nini gogo ya garidam. So and with tuition. School fees very difficult. Even the students you meet up with very hard. Like and then everyone you can't even tell your parents about that or your <laughs> guardian simply because <laughs> they will say, "Why did you chew the money?" Have you mm. ever have you ever done that? Not really, uh, because I know it is hard uh, to to uh, no, because I've, I've had friends who've been doing most of this. Uh, no, I've actually seen friends who've been doing it. <laughs> so when you look at how they struggle, they come it's to you and say, so, well, do you have this money? And I'm like, I, I have, have done money. that I before and school school it was so. very hard. Mm. I, I, I didn't cue the tuition, the whole of it. Mm. But I mean, there is that time you feel like you're squeezed at some point and you're like, okay, mm. let me just call Even if it's a 20,000, can you imagine? Mm. That 20,000 will take you how a lot of many months mm. to actually put that 20,000 back. Even when you tend to have it like a 20,000, it never gets into your mind that, mm. hey, what all I call something from not your tuition. Exactly. It never mm. goes back. So please do not do that because it mm. never comes with ease. But mm. back to the quote mm. uh, highlighting, um, if you tend to exhaust it uh, or exhaust or even be extravagant from what you're working out for, that mm. is uh, tending to bite off a little more. Mm. Every time you're yearning, you're like, okay, mm. we don't have uh, no, it sugar is at also, home. It's actually a good run for an entrepreneur. Mm. Uh, reason well, being, mm. if you... Uh, as an entrepreneur, they're actually told to uh, entrepreneurs are supposed to be risk takers. 
In most cases, an entrepreneur chooses something, uh, just like you could say he quickly, uh, he has hope that he will quickly learn how to handle it. Mm. That is why some of the entrepreneurs who have started with small businesses in the next year will be like, no, let me, let me, re let me, let, let's say, let me expand. Do you know and the first he expands, time? He's hoping that he will mm -hmm. learn in the long run. I don't run understand what you're saying. But the reason that. as to why for the first time they're mm. even, you know, getting out of there is because mm. the risk of the risks they took mm. or the risk they happened to take on. But if you're now comfortable in that particular space and then there comes an entrepreneur tending to bite a little more, meaning that every time you feel like I can replace this back, at I, some point it never works. For mm. example, you've got a shop and uh, I pray you get one. Mm -hmm. You exactly. go to a shop and, or a supermarket, Amen. and then at home, there is no sugar. There is, with these hiked prices of uh, soap, mm -hmm. every time you're like, you know what, Gendawali, uh, Joram, just go to the supermarket, pick, pick that bar of soap, mm -hmm. pick that uh, quart of sugar. I tell you, you just picking, pick, continuing to pick from your stocks, you never know when you're even going to pay back, but you keep on hoping to pay that back. At some point, it is going to squeeze your business. So every time, how are you going to handle it? Make sure if you're going to pick up something in order to return it back or to repay it back, always have a backup system or a backup income or money or funds you're going to input there. But what all work where good in fact, sell to yourself. Don't just speak, but sell to yourself. That is the only way you're going to keep your business moving. At the same time, making that money day by day. All right. And uh, making the money is very important for you to understand. But away from the business,